Hello. So it is now Tuesday. Uh, it's December 26th, and I woke up to two additional orders, <clears throat> and one of them is huge. Uh, it's like almost 5,000 pieces, and I'm not 100% positive because I didn't check it closely, but I think it's the same person who placed the just over 4,000 piece order a couple of weeks ago. So yeah, uh, I'm going to pull the six orders that aren't that one first, because I'm not sure I'm going to have enough time to get to the post office if I try to do that one as well. And six orders is probably about the most I'm going to be able to fit. As it is, I move the scanner over here uh, and I put three trays here because that's a fairly large order, uh, but it's all new. I checked. And then the next order has new and used. And then these two have, uh, these three have new and used. And then this last one just has used. It's actually just four minifigs. Uh, so yeah, I've got these set out by letters. I've got Brick Freedom set up to be able to pick them all. And so that's what I'm going to start. And so we'll see how long this process takes because it's going to be a while. Uh, there is still a lot of pieces for these six orders, but as a whole, still much smaller than the, the seventh order, that large one. So I'm going to try to get these done into the post office and then I will try to come back and get the other one tonight so that it can go out tomorrow. In any case, that is what I'm up to today, so I don't know how much more I'm going to do video-wise. I'll probably come back and show the picked six orders, because um, there's a lot of space there, as you can see. Um, but yeah, we'll see how this goes. As always, thank you. Hello. So here we are. We have these six orders pulled. Uh, order A, B, C, D, E, and F. As you can see, F was just some minifigures, so that was pretty easy. Although one of them is new, uh, and for whatever reason, they decided they wanted to order this Trolls figure. It is one of the first sets I parted out. It was a poly bag. I had 50 of them. I bought them dirt cheap. They were probably 50 cents, maybe a dollar a piece. Um, and like these parts, I've never sold any of them, I don't think. I mean, maybe I sold a torso plane once. I don't remember. The legs might sell. They're a plain color, but they're... it's. Is it magenta? It's not really a commonly desired color, but they bought the entire new figure. So, hey, great for me. Um, and so, yeah, and this order here, order C, they had bought uh, some minifigures, but then also below the minifigures, a bunch of animals. Um, the reindeer uh, there and some other ones down there. There's a skunk and a baby tiger and all this other stuff. There's the cat from The Simpsons, just a whole bunch of stuff like that. That was pretty cool. And it was all pretty much in one spot right there that Ben had put up for me. So that's very much appreciated. The other ones are just pretty much parts. Just random parts. This, that, and the other. Lots of ones in this one. That one, I, I felt like I'd kept going with that one. They were lots of white. And I have lots of white because of the 16 of the uh, Ideas Dinosaur Fossil set that I parted out probably over a year ago at this point. <clears throat> or close to it. And they still keep selling, so I see the quantities dwindling on those. Um, so that is the six orders. I still have that seventh order that I'm going to need to pick. And an eighth order came in while I was picking. Uh, the order itself isn't particularly large or anything, but it has a message attached to it. And I'm going to show the message right here. It says, uh, thanks for the order. Uh, love watching the YouTube vlogs. Your attention to details is what made me want to place an order in your store. Hope you had a good holiday, and I wish you a successful 2024. So that is really cool. I think that's the first comment I've gotten on a BrickLink order having to do with the YouTube channel. So that's really cool. So I want to thank them personally right now. Thank you very much. Um, and uh, we'll get to that after I pack this up. Probably just as long as I have time. Before, If I think I have time to pull that one before I have to get to the post office, I will do that. Um, otherwise... Um, I will probably get shunted till tomorrow, but I don't think that's going to be necessary. As always, uh, thank you very much, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Hello. It is later on Tuesday, and, uh, yeah, so I got those six orders that I pulled packed. Uh, in the meantime, I also got another order. I may have mentioned that in the last clip. Got that packed, and I took seven packages to the post office. Uh, and I came back, I had another order, which was for one part, uh, and uh, it basically, it's all of the 2x6 plates 
that I had, and it's in that white box right there, but I don't want to go any closer because the address is on top. Um, so yeah, there is that. And then this is the big order. This is like 47, 4,900 pieces. It's just a mammoth, mammoth order. Uh, and so like, I've got all these parts down here and I just basically would buy everything I had. So I just pulled the drawer for the time being. Um, this is kind of interesting. I have thousands of these, uh, the one by two white plates used. And I have a bunch of them pre-bagged. They ordered 200 of them and voila, I had a 200 bag. So I was able to grab that very easily. But I mean, tires, they bought all of these. And then I just pulled that drawer out because they bought all of those. And so many drawers I just pulled out. So we'll have to put them away eventually. Uh, some cups as well. Same idea. Uh, this was underneath one of them. And so that got pulled. Uh, lots of pieces that just aren't full. And this is the used pieces. The new pieces are over here. There's not quite as many of them, but there is still a lot. And a couple of them, I, I pretty much, did I pull, I didn't pull any actual drawers. Um, or actually, I take that back. I did pull this one. It's the only piece that I bagged up so far. It's these white door panels, these uh, transparent clear door panels. Uh, and they bought all of my heads. You can kind of see my fingers through them, but it's kind of weird. Um, but I wanted to make sure they got into something that I could protect them with. So yeah. Uh, but yeah, so we're just going to start packing this up. I was short a few pieces. Uh, this red piece here, a little red cheese slope, I was short 10 of. So instead of 24, I only had 14. And this red slope, I was supposed to have 29. I had 9. So that's a little more concerning to me that I was missing 20 of that. And I did look in a bunch of drawers around them, and I didn't track it down. And oddly enough, neither of them do I have sets here where I could open them up uh, to get the pieces so I started looking at there's several other stores locally a couple of them I can get pick up from one of them I could not um, and I could almost fill the order and I think I actually do have a set that has a couple of these in it and I could open that and so I could fill the order and so I messaged him I said well you know I'm short on these pieces and I'm going to ship out your order I'm going to refund the pieces and then I can order them and uh, I'll get them to you a little bit delayed and I uh, got a message back very quickly saying not to worry about it they said they were actually just shopping and enjoying shopping and just adding stuff to their cart. So, hey, all the power to them. I love it. Uh, so I don't have to worry about that. I did refund them already, so that's taken care of. So now I just have to bag all this up, pack it up in a nice big box. Uh, and I think I'm going to probably grab something extra to toss in as well. I haven't decided what yet, but we're going to find something. Um, but, yeah, that is the big order. And then I have another order after this that I have to get to. But, you know, one thing at a time. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, I'm going to work on this and hopefully this won't take me forever to bag it up, uh, but we will see. Uh, as always, thank you very much. And if you've got any questions or if you'd like to make a comment, uh, please feel free to. I appreciate all of that and we'll see you in the next clip. Hello again. It is uh, pretty late on Tuesday. Um, it's after midnight and I've just finished bagging up all the parts. Um, I tried to keep like types of things together and that kind of thing, but these are all the used parts and then that's the new over there so the used took me a lot longer to bag up uh, so now i have to go find a box for all this because that's not going to fit in a bubble mailer um so yeah that's what i'm up to next um i may or may not come back with a picture of the box we'll see it's going to be a big box um and uh so yeah uh and i actually have another order to do um we will see if i get to it tonight or not i'm kind of I'm slowing down now, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, but as always, thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next clip. Hello. So I've got the package packaged up. I printed up the shipping label right here, and this is the box. And uh, I probably could not have gone too much smaller. It pretty much just fit in here with some uh, bubble wrap around the out inside uh, edges of the box. Uh, but yeah, there it is. I also tossed in a couple of poly bags as a thank you for not being worried about the missing pieces and just for the order itself. So there you go. Um, I am now going to slap the label on, uh, put some priority mail stickers on it because it's going priority mail. And uh, yeah, then I have to decide if I'm going to pull the other order. It's uh, 45 lots, 158 items. Not too terribly bad. I'm thinking I might pull it, but then not pack it tonight. Just get it pulled and then uh, deal with the packing of it tomorrow. Uh, we will see how that goes, though. But this is going to be the last uh, video clip for tonight. We will have something coming back tomorrow on Wednesday. As always, thank you very much. Hello. It is Thursday evening, 
and I just pretty much finished parting out another art set. Um, it is the uh, Beatles one up here. I'm pretty sure that's the one that's on the top here. Uh, yeah, the Beatles. Did six copies of that. Uh, there is a box under the table that I will put these bags in shortly. Uh, all of the pieces in it, the colored ones, were tile, so I have lots more tile. Um, not as many of the plates, but I mean, there's a lot of plates still. And then the rest of the parts are in inventory already. Um, I have one order to pull. Uh, they ordered two minifigures and two one by two white plates. So a little odd there, but there you go. Uh, they must need those plates. But in any case, uh, that's what I'm going to get working on now. And uh, a couple of other things I'm going to try to get to over the weekend. I've just been incredibly busy and I'm trying to push to get these art sets out by or around the first of the year. So yeah, that's kind of what my goal is at this point. So until I can get to that point, I'm kind of holding off on a couple other things. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention was... You should all uh, go ahead and congratulate Ben, because Ben has reached a 1,000 subscribers plus on his YouTube channel. Um, he reached it like maybe 10 days after me, if that, uh, but he's already surpassed me. He's got like a 1,015 or more. So yeah, it's just gangbusters quick he's been going up. He had a, a really cool video that I watched on uh, a custom uh, tree, and if you haven't seen that, you should check it out. Um, it's on his channel, and there'll be a link to his channel uh, in the description of the video. So yeah, definitely should check that out. Um, but yeah, that's what I got going on at the moment. Uh, as always, thank you very much. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Hello. Today is Friday. I'm expecting Ben and a uh, person who's doing the Bionicle and one other person to show up. And uh, I have two orders I just picked. This is it right here. So one of them you can see they just ordered a bunch of the Dimensions discs, one of each all of these, and then a dozen of those. And then here, they just ordered five minifigures, one of each of these and two of those. So, yeah, these are going to be very easy orders to, to do. I already picked them. It took me, like, I don't know, a couple minutes. Uh, the Brick Freedom uh, timer is at, like, six minutes, but part of that is getting the camera and starting to film as well. So, yeah, it's, it's not that long. Um, so I'm going to pack those up, get those ready to go to the post office. I have one order from yesterday that has to go out as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm just excited about everything that's going on. And uh, as you can see, the art pile boxes are kind of stacked all the way up to the uh, girders there. And uh, I have uh, only a couple left to do. Uh, I'm waiting to hear from someone who might be interested in a couple of the Sith ones. So I've kind of delayed doing those. Those are up top. And then down here, I've got the Batman, and I only have one Elvis, which is kind of unfortunate. I might look to see if I can find any more Elvises, uh, just so I can do more than one. Uh, I don't think the color... I, I could look at the color selection, too, to see if there's anything really interesting. I'm like, I know these dark blue tiles I got a ton of, dark red probably a lot, but some of these skin tone ones, I might not have that many. And there's three or four different gradients in there, so yeah, that, those would be kind of nice. I see white, uh, there's probably light bright yellow, medium nougat, maybe nougat. I know there's dark orange over there. So yeah, there's a lot of different colors possible. We'll take a look at that. It might not be worth going for more, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, that's what I've been uh, working on, and I'm getting close. Of course, I still have the world map to do. I've got uh, six of them. There's those three there, those two there, and one on the floor. That's going to take some time. So, yeah, but uh, I'm looking forward to it and in any case, and uh, things should be good. Uh, we'll come back with some more updates as we go, and uh, definitely for something after everybody leaves tonight. As always, thank you very much. Hello. It is late on Friday, and we've had three people here besides myself helping in various ways. A lot has happened. Um... I'll start with what I did. I, I did the five Batman sets and the five Sith sets I had. And I am 99% done with all that stuff. The only thing I have left to do are... These are the one-by-one -one plates, round plates, from the Batman set. That I have to basically take and put with like colors over here. And there's a few of them right over here. Um, everything else has been taken care of. Now, these colored pieces aren't listed yet. I'm waiting to get them all done together because I want to keep moving... 
these pieces around so i was waiting and doing them all at the end um all the interior parts for the set are put away and uploaded into uh bricklink though uh that leaves just the um world map left to do and since i got through 10 sets today about forty-five thousand pieces total give or take um i think i can probably do in a couple of days the sixth world six world maps i have because that's like 66 to 70,000 pieces, and I think I can do it. Um, so over here, now I still have the one Elvis set. Because it's like, it's only one set. It didn't really feel like I should be dealing with just the one set. And when I looked it up, it actually has a good deal of value all by itself as a whole set. So we're probably going to hold that for a whole copy sale. And then I have two Sith sets left that uh, someone in my lug had expressed interest in. So I'm holding those back for him. Uh, but as you can see, shelves where the art sets otherwise empty, except for all this plastic that I put here, which may or may not stay. But it was just a place to get out of the way for the time being. Uh, ben, Ben finished the rounds sort. So there's no rounds over here. Um, he actually he went and pulled some minifig stuff that was in a couple of different places. And he's kind of gone through some minifig stuff and done some sort. He's uploaded stuff. I'm fully stocked on minifigures again. As a matter of fact, I sold two more tonight while he was here. And I had them restock those as well. So we are fully stocked with minifigs at this point. Um, going this way, um, we'll talk about the Bionicle stuff next. Um, there were several large sets. Now, this is most of one set. Uh, this stuff needs a, a nice wash or just a rinse or something like that. Same thing with these parts. These here go with this and then these here go with this. We decided we're not going to wash those. Uh, and he's working on another set to check to see if it's full. Uh, I believe it's that set there, or no, that's the that's the spare parts for the one over there. Uh, and then this, I believe, is a different set. So he's he's in the midst of checking that one to make sure if it's complete or not. So because we're probably going to sell those as whole sets. Um, I don't know that I have instructions, but that may or may not make a difference. Um, over here, you can see. I mean, here's more of the one by one round plates and more over here. Uh, I ran out of space on that one shelf down there for the base pieces that are still in the boxes. And so there's some over here. Once I do the art sets, I'm gonna have to slide that over further and use more space there. All the instructions are here. I need to make a final decision on those. I haven't done that yet. And then of course, two by plate, which has been sitting here. And then up here are all the rounds. And uh, Ben kind of buried it, but this is the tote uh, let's see if I can pull this down one-handed without causing a giant mess, because that would just suck. Ben would not be happy about that. Um, you know what? We're gonna not. We're not gonna risk it. We're gonna move this back here. I'm just gonna put the phone here. Maybe you can watch. I have no idea what you can see. Well, I guess I can kind of look. Boy, this is top-notch video quality here. I don't. Can I put it over here? No, it's not going to sit there. How about right here? There we go. And so you'll see, I'm going to step over here, and the audio is probably worse now. All right, so this is what I was going to show, and I probably should have gotten ready for this before I actually started filming. Uh, but so this is a normal shoebox size here. And this is the size that I have the one by one round plate in. There is a lot of them. Um, I'm curious, how many do you think there are? Maybe we should do a little quick impromptu contest to guess how many plates there are in the end. Uh, but yeah, there is a lot. Um, it, it's going to take a while to go through those, that's for sure. But the next thing on the block, after I finish the world map sets, is to dive into the 2 by plate that that's been sit sitting sorted for a while. This will wait a little bit longer as well. Um, I did have a third person here helping, and they basically just did some standard sort, and then some. they helped me with some tech-type things that I've been working on. But they finished some sort. Uh, they went through that bag I had of uh, white pieces. There was a lot of rejects because the, just, the color is just not good. Um, but yeah, that's the way that goes. Uh, some broken pieces too, I see. But yeah, that's okay. 
So we have a tire that's rejected. I think I remember this tire. It's got a cut in it or something. Yeah, it's just broken right there. Uh, so yeah, but there was some white that was saved. Not a ton, but some. And so we'll go through that at some point. And then this is some instructions in this crazy action contraptions book that I picked up at uh, a Goodwill. I don't know if it's complete or not, but we may look into that at some point. And then this is like the next thing that's up on the dock. It is this box of stuff here or that tote there, perhaps. Um, so, yeah, we got always have stuff to sort. That will never be a problem, really. But so a lot of stuff happened tonight. I'm really excited about that. And, uh, yeah, my goal is to get all of those uh, world maps done so that I can do the complete upload for all of that on the first. Uh, have it all ready to go, and then on the first I will upload it. Which will kind of continue in the tradition of doing something kind of large on the first of every month for a while. Uh, back in October, uh, the first was when I uploaded all the minifigures. So 960 different minifigures with a total quantity of like 1,300. That helps some sales, I know, for October. Um, I mean, I, and then November, the beginning of November, we went and... Uh, sent out notifications for the first time. I had just hit 10,000 lots and I sent out notifications. I'd never done that before. And I think that contributed to some sales. And then the first of December, I went through and repriced much of the store, uh, lowered prices on a whole bunch of stuff. And I'm almost for sure that helped sales a lot. So yeah. Uh, and then once we upload the giant dot upload or one by one round plates and tiles, We'll see how that works. And of course, in addition to those, I'll be uploading all those bases. Those aren't up yet. And also the instructions I haven't uploaded yet. So yeah, it's, it's kind of exciting. We'll see what kind of sales happen from all that. Uh, sales are kind of strong right now as well. Uh, I had three sales to do while uh, people were here. So I got those taken care of, took them down to the mailbox. Because tomorrow's Saturday and the post office is only open until one. So I don't want to necessarily chance that I won't, wouldn't get there in time. So just set the mailbox to get picked up. So that is, uh, that is all I've got at this point. Uh, as always, please leave any questions or comments down below. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it all goes. Thank you. Hello. Well, I have made it through the main part out of the six world maps. There's all the bases, the boxes they came in. Uh, these are the extra uh, tiles. And there's actually the, the yellow, or the, excuse me, the white one is a plate round plate but the rest are tile uh, and then we've got all these other pieces now these two pieces here were easy to count in the bags and they were the only piece in the bag so I again left them in the bag but I marked the bag with the actual number because I could count them easily whereas like with the Technic pins it would be impossible to count those accurately so again I just took and there was actually two of those bags per set so I took the full number that was in one set, divided it in half, and subtracted some. Um, so yeah, that's that. And then the other colors are over here in these containers on this cart. I actually had to grab another cart. This is the one that Ben had over in his area for the minifigure stuff. It was mostly empty. didn't have a lot of stuff on it, so it was very easy to get a hold of. Uh, but yeah, I'll be able to start putting these away. I could then integrate the tiles and the one plate in with the colors as well move these plates over to that bottom shelf i'd have to scoot that tote over that way a little bit to make room for them in here um and then i can get these put away up top with a, a few of the other ones uh i'll need to label these with the quantities uh there's a little challenge on that because the white bag there was actually three bags of that per uh this is i believe medium azure and there was two of that and this is dark turquoise and there was two of that so those are a little more challenging because i'll have to divide by two or three to get the number and it's like i have to assume that they evenly divided it so we'll see how that goes I'm not 100 percent sure how well it'll go but we'll see um and then uh yeah we'll be almost done but we've got all these boxes for the set here they're nice boxes for the most part so i'm probably going to keep them somehow and use them in some way uh these were inside and the way they did this is uh this was inside the box and then they put the pieces on top of this and then that was in the front but this is a box basically i mean it's got the normal sides and it's just like these extra tabs here but if i tape them down it could be a box for something so i don't know if i would ship something in this probably not but 
it might be useful. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I might just be trying to keep too much. We'll see how that all is. But uh, that is that. And uh, yeah, so we're going to start getting to this so we can get uh, all this uploaded on the first. Uh, as always, thank you very much. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. And uh, yeah, I'm going to have some fun putting this stuff away very shortly. Thank you. Hello. So I just wanted to give this other little update. I'd forgotten to mention this. So this part has two different variants um they look the same but they're not quite the same and actually i notice now that this one the gap in there is a little bit larger than the gap on this one let's see if we can get in close and see that so this has a smaller gap on this one uh but the main difference is underneath where this one has the solid pin type thing and this one is not and as it turns out most of the sets i had five of the six were like this one but one of them had pieces like this and it was actually listed in the inventory that i pulled up through brick store as being the possible variant so when i looked at the bag i actually looked through the bag and i found one that had these i did check each one in the other bags and in this one just to make sure there wasn't a combination in any one bag but they were separate so i'll have a whole bunch of those and just a few of those too well there's still 52 of them there but far less than the 400 or so that are there um, so yeah, that is what, uh, that little variant there, and I thought that was kind of interesting. Thank you. Hello. So I had five orders I just picked. Uh, it is, uh, eh, early evening on, uh, Sunday, New Year's Eve. Uh, and I've kind of got a lack of space here to work in, because I've got this cart with parts on it, that cart over there with parts on it, this cart with the orders I just pulled, as you can see, this the top sh uh, shelf here is A, both new and used, B, new and used, and then C, D, and E, new in the front, used in the back. Um, and then, so like I've got these world map boxes sitting here, these sub boxes sitting here, more parts over there. There's technically more parts right here as well. Uh, I've got these boxes of the bases from the world map I haven't moved yet, but I need to pack, and I'm going to actually move these parts first. These were, um, in the world map, it was basically to set up the color guide that they have. So yeah, I need to get all this done, and I need to pack these up, and then I have another order that came in while I was pulling these, so I've got to go pull that as well. So I'm going to be busy for this for a while, so yeah, um, that's still planning on getting these released either late tonight or uh, tomorrow. Uh, it's kind of like the first thing that we're doing this month in January when it starts. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited for that. And I just need to double check these. I'm going to start with the smallest orders because it's easier to double check them. I'm mainly just concerned that I put the right piece in the right spot. Now, like here, you can see they bought a lot of yellow and green and some blue. And then a, cup, a tan and a uh, reddish brown. So I'm like, okay, we might want to double check those tan and reddish brown to make sure they ordered them. And then up here, I don't really see any of those colors, although I do see some reddish brown. So I, I want to make sure... Those, like I said, those are small orders, so those will be easy to check. We'll do those first, and we'll check B, and then I, if B is correct, I'm going to assume A is correct uh, for the most part. So, that is what we're working on now. It's going to take me a little bit. It took me just about an hour to pull these. Uh, I wasn't completely focused on this. I had my phone up here, and I was checking messages for a couple of things. So, I, I probably could have done it in a, in a bit under an hour. So, yeah, not too bad. Anyway, I'm rambling just a little bit. Thank you very much. Hello. It is Sunday night. Uh, I finished pulling the orders and packing them. And then I had another order to pull and pack. That's all right here. Boxes and envelopes. Um, and now I'm about to start putting these parts away into the store so that I can then upload them later on. Uh, this is what I'm going to start with. These are tiles. And I've got this cart preloaded with the beginning alphabetical tile colors down through uh, dark orange, I believe because it's dark brown and dark orange. Um, yeah, and then up here is dark pink, dark red, dark tan, etc. cetera. Uh, and so the rest of the tiles are on this card. So this card is actually fuller than the other one because it's got all the white. There's a lot of white. Um, and then dark turquoise, there's a lot of that one. A lot of this one, which is um, a medium azure. Uh, so yeah, there's a lot of these. And so what, I was thinking I'd just move the, the laptop over, but there's no room for the laptop over here. So I'll probably have to move some of them briefly and then deal with it. But that's these. Um, this cart here is pretty much empty, but it's got 
um, plate, the, the onesie plates. Now the onesie tiles for that cart are over there and the onesie tiles for this cart are over here. Um, but then this cart also has the few, I say few, but the uh, one by one square plate instead of the round plate. So I've got a bunch of those to put away. I'll probably do those second. And then I've got uh, the tail end of some of the plate here. I also have plate on the table here and I've got plate on this box and on this tote. So the, the plate is much more spread out, but I think there's more tile than there is plate. So we're going to, we're going to tackle the tile first. So we're going to get this put away. Um, I've also realized that I have a number of the colors, especially like white and some of the other more common colors where I've got multiple different bags that have the part. And so what I'm going to do is I took and I cut up some of the inserts for the, the art sets and I took these panels and I'm going to write on them what the quantities I have in bags are to put in the drawer so that when I go to pull an order, I have a quick ready reference so that if I don't see the bag quantity right off, I can look at this and say, oh, but I have this bag quantity and I can grab that. So I guess a good example would be here with the, well, these are plates, but with the white plates, this bag has 61, that bag has 193, and that bag has 363. So if somebody orders 100, I can grab one of these and then get some loose ones. If they order 200, I can grab this one and some loose ones. If they order 400, I can grab that one and some loose ones. And so having that piece of cardboard that'll tell me what is there um, will help. So yeah, we're going to do that too. So we got a lot going on. I want to try to get this stuff put away so that I can get this uploaded uh, tonight. Uh, I probably will close the store uh, for a little while. Um, I usually do that on the last day of the month so that I don't get any orders between midnight my time and 3 a.m. because I'm not sure what day they they come through on for BrickLink. So kind of trying to keep everything in a monthly blocks. So that's what I probably do. And I may upload at that point as well while I'm closed. So yeah, that's what I'm up to. Uh, I kind of blabbered on along long enough. So I'm going to come back and probably when I'm done with this cart and show you a little bit or Maybe after I put some away, I can leave some of the drawers open and show. I'm not really sure how I'm doing that yet. In any case, thank you very much. Hello. It is later on uh, Sunday. And actually, I can say Happy New Year. It's after midnight. Um, and I did two loads of the tiles. I still have three colors, tan, white, and yellow. And you can see there's a lot of white. Um, and all this stuff has been going over here. Well, not all of it. Most of it has been going over here. Uh, these two columns right here. So basically, this one is bright green. And you can see I put a sign in there. It says bright green. And I listed the quantity that are in the bag. So like this bag here has 154, just like it says. And then this bag over here has 619. Uh, so that will just basically tell me when I'm going to pick it, you know, what I what my options are. Um, and then I've got some loose ones that were either from the part outs or stuff that I already had in a few cases. Um, and in a couple of cases, uh, like here's the black one. Uh, here's black, and these are the four sizes of black I have. And you notice there's a little arrow. There's more black in this one over here. I just couldn't fit it in one drawer. So we created this little arrow out of a piece of cardboard. Put the arrow here. This So this drawer isn't part of the numbering. It's numbered keyed to this drawer, but that'll tell me where it is. So... Yeah, that's kind of what we're doing as far as that goes. Uh, a couple of times I uh, duplicated, uh, or I didn't duplicate, I shared colors in a drawer. Light bluish gray and dark brown. Uh, kind of both in the same drawer because they both didn't have a ton. Uh, some of them have even less quantity. And so they came over here. Let's see if I could find one. Yeah, magenta. So I just kept little packs there. There's only 47 in each pack. There's probably only like you know, eight packs or something like that. Uh, and then one, the light aqua, is right there. I already had a whole ton of them. So now there's a ton more. There's there's a lot of the light aqua. There's a lot. So yeah, I'm going to finish putting those away. Uh, and I think the second thing I'm going to put away are the one by one square plate, which is in those yellow boxes down there. If they figure out exactly where I'm putting them, I have an idea where they're going to go. They might go up top in these boxes because I can just put the box in the box. Uh, we will see about that. I don't know for sure. Um, and then, uh, then I've got all the plate to do, which there's plate table, 
plate here, plate here, and there's a little bit just the other side over here on this rolling cart. So yeah, that is what I'm up to. Um, I'm trying to get it done tonight. We'll see if I can actually accomplish that or not. I, I just have no idea. As always, though, thank you very much. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. Hello. It is quite late. Uh, it's actually almost four in the morning, but uh, I am done. I got all the parts put away. Um, <laughs> this empty cart is going to go back over for Ben to use. You can see this cart back over here. It's got all sorts of storage on it that was in use that is no longer in use. Um, this cart is back to being able to be a picking cart. I still have to put these where I'm putting them over there. And I'm actually, I didn't even give them a location name because I know where they are. Uh, they're over on the bottom right over there, so I'm not even going to worry about that. Um, but uh, I'm going to upload the pieces and uh, just turn the store back on. And over here, lots and lots of space got taken up by these small pieces. So this is the black, and as you can see, it has another drawer next to it. But this one also has dark orange in it. Um, got the little cards in there that show... The quantity for the bags and then there's the loose ones in the container i think the system will work well we will see once it becomes in use but basically i used one two three four four drawers through here at this one this one this one and this one i didn't use that one but i use and i didn't use that one so i used uh one two three like 14 drawers through here and then over here the same sorts of drawers, except for did I go lower? Yeah, it did go lower here and on the bottom um, for those. And then I put I moved a couple of things around at a couple of different points, and I put the one by one square ones right here in the top five. So yeah, there is quite a lot. And I think what I did too in a couple of cases here is. Yeah, actually, there was three in the store already, somewhere in a drawer. So all that stuff got pulled to these locations and more of the light bluish gray. These particular ones here might not be the best of locations because they're so high. But for the time being, they'll work. Um, I can actually bring the step stool over here and store it over here. Slip it in this little spot right here. Move the bag. But yeah, that is what I've been up to. Uh... Tomorrow is Monday, uh, the first of the year, or today is, depending on how you look at it. Um, I'll probably sleep in a little bit. Uh, mail can't is not going out because post office is closed, so I'm not worried about that. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I'm doing. And then tomorrow night I will get ready to put the vlog up. There will probably be some sort of additional content uh, right after this that you will see momentarily. So, yeah. As always, thank you very much. And this was... Uh, like a week and a half two weeks worth of push to get this to happen on the first but it happened and it's about to happen so thank you hello it is monday evening uh and uh, i had to head out for a little while this evening and when i left i didn't have any orders yet today uh and then when i got back i had three so i took care of them uh one of them was a fairly large order with a lot of minifigures and this is the collection of empty container uh, bags for minifigures that Ben's going to have to fill now. There's quite a lot of them. Uh, it's probably the most he's had to fill at any one point when he's been coming to fill them. So yeah, uh, I probably will see him on Friday. So my guess is that pile will only grow between now and Friday. Uh, it may not grow a lot, but I guess one or two more for sure will sell. Um, I got a whole bunch of the art boxes loaded on that cart over there. I'm trying to figure out if there's a use for them. Uh, the ones there on that cart will fit a 48 by 48 base plate. Um, these over here, in the two separate piles here and here, will not. They're a little bit smaller. They're the newer boxes. Uh, so I'm considering saving some of these for shipping out base plates if I start selling the 48 by 48 base plates. Um, and I'm trying to figure out what else to use them for. Uh, one thing I did think of is I could probably open them up and cut them down and make uh, cardboard liners for the shelves. Uh, I did that with the the City 3-in-1 
uh, combo set. I had the outer box we cut up, and actually that's what this is down here. It's uh, from a city set that was a uh, gift set. Uh, so I can probably do that with some more of them. Uh, probably even make some extras just in case. But I'll still have extras of them. So I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Uh, but yeah, so everything else is pretty much put away. I got some small containers here to get ready for other things. So yeah, it's uh, kind of in a holding pattern right now. Um, mainly because I'm a little tired. Uh, I was up very late last night getting those parts in. And let me tell you, it's 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 quite expansive, the area that it takes up. And it's funny because I can tell which ones have them because it's all the ones that have these little white things in the front. Because if there's two, I've got two different colors in the same drawer. We can go take a look at that. So in this case, dark bluish gray and green. And then the cups contain the loose pieces and then all the bags are back there. And what I did is I made a slip that had the name of the, the color and then the number uh, that are in the bags. Now, some of them, like the dark bluish gray, have three different bags. One has 92, one is 160, and the other has 223. Um, so yeah, that's what I did there. And then some of them needed an entire drawer of their own, like dark blue. And then some of them, like this black one, needed more. So there's some here, and then I've got dark orange next to it. So there's only one cup here, but there's still two colors technically. So yeah, uh, a lot of a lot of pieces, all these tiles and plates. Still some room left here, though. I mean, there's drawers empty here and there, uh, and then there's room in some of the drawers. Like I could put something more in here, and I could put something more in here, and both of these have room. And so there's still expansion space, and there's several more empty drawers here. So yeah, we still got space, but there is a lot of stuff in here now. So this is getting fuller, which also makes me think that I need to consider expanding it again. Um, I'm pretty sure I have enough to do one more upright row. I don't know about two. So yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to take some work to figure that out. Uh, I think the next thing I'm actually going to tackle is probably the, the two by plates. They've been here the longest. I also need to deal with the instructions. I did not upload the instructions. I got to deal with it. Figure out if I'm going to save any of those or not, how I'm going to handle that. But yeah, so I think uh, I'm going to have to deal with those two by plates to get some room. Because uh, because I uh, put these, the plates, the base plates for the art sets down at the bottom, I had to slide the tote over. And so I have less room for clean totes. Like if I was to wash something now, I don't have a place to put it. So I kind of have to keep pushing forward to get through stuff. But yeah, that is what is going on here. Uh, it looks like Ben will be here Friday. I think I mentioned that. And uh, I got a couple other things I've got to get to in the coming days. But like today has just been kind of busy. Lots of stuff going on. And hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to catch up on some stuff. Although I've got a couple of things going on tomorrow too. So it may end up being Wednesday. But I'm going to make sure this video goes out. So it's going to be out on Tuesday as normal. And uh, this will be the last section. So I appreciate it very much. Thank you all for subscribing and watching. And commenting with those times you do and uh, we will see you in the next vlog.